This case is a complication of a cataract surgery performed a couple of months ago. We can see a great amount of cortex material in the pupillary center of this patient, blocking his visual axis. Since the IOL is reasonably stable, the idea here is to be minimally invasive and basically perform an anterior vitrectomy to clean up the anterior chamber. We begin this case by making two paracentesis through which the vitrector probe and the irrigation line will be inserted in the eye. We like to use some triencinolone in such cases to better visualize the presence of any vitreous strands in the AC and guide us in the anterior vitrectomy. Fortunately, there's not much prolapsed vitreous, so we move our attention to this fibrotic cortical material present over the IOL. For dealing with these thick cataract remnants, we like to adjust our settings in the fecal machine to cut IA and use a low cut rate and a high vacuum. This way we increase the amount of time the vitrector port is opened and thus it gives time for the vacuum to work and really engage the fragments. But well, it doesn't really work here. So we put some more viscoelastic in the eye and now we take two micro instruments to help us address in this case. We're using a micro forceps in the left hand to really grab these tissues and present them to the micro scissors that is being held in the right hand. So we carefully cut these fibers and make it easier for the vitrector to work. Once again, we go back to the bimanual approach. This time, we are able to aspirate more of the lens matter that was cut with the micro scissors. We can switch hands as needed to reach all the corners of the eye. One more time, a little bit of triamcinolone is injected and then irrigated with a cannula and some BSS. It's useful just to make sure and double check if there's any vitreous that might have gone to the AC during our previous maneuvers. Using a blunt cannula, we sweep left and right, gently stroking the iris with some iotic agent. As the pupil comes down, it helps us in judging if there's still any prolapsed vitreous, which usually causes the iris to be peaked where the strands are present. We can notice that the pupil is nicely round and regular, so we move on to aspirate the OVD. Now using the machine setting in the IA cut mode, since the AC is basically all cleaned up by now. Considering it's an eye that already had a complication, we are not taking any chances here, so we decide to put an island suture on each paracentesis. An air bubble may be useful in this step to prevent the AC from shallowing. So both sutures are adequately placed, trimmed short and then rotated inside the sclera. Finally, a little bit of corneal hydration is done and our case is completed.